we will be finished here, I believe, in a few seconds. And uh, Glenn, we'll open the gate over here on the south side quickly. Now we, uh, we invite you to come down. We're just a little pressed for time today. And due to the length of the slack competition this morning, we have even more contestants into the rodeo this year. If you'd like to come down and you're over here to the north or on the west, go back down and around the gate. We're open here for time to be in shoot. You can come right in. You can come in over here on the either side of the Buckaroo section. The gates are open. This is the unity dance. This is the friendship dance. This not only symbolizes what they have been doing here for 78 years in sharing together, but also symbolizes even hundreds of years before that when all the tribes would come here to the Kittitas Valley in unison. They would put their disagreements aside for a short time where they could live and hunt together because of the abundance of the Kittitas. It happened here many years ago, and it is still symbolic of we bring you down to dance with the Indians. Come down, bring your cameras, bring your kids. What a unique opportunity to come down today and uh, make sure you, you mingle with them, dance beside them, come be part of the dance. Come on down. You can go back behind. We have plenty of time. We're going to take time to allow you the chance to get out of your seat, go down the stairs, around the gate. Right here on the west side, if you'd like to. You can come in through the buckaroo seats on the sides of the buck and shoot. Yesterday we had a circle that was as large as the entire arena itself. So come on down. Come on down, everybody. As many as would like to come, we welcome you. Bring your cameras and bring your entire family. This is something you will remember the rest of your lives. What a wonderful opportunity. Come on now. Yes, uh, we gather amongst the tribes. Uh, this is a uh, song when we all come together and the circle gets big and the place is too small. We go you know, all the way around the arena. We just form a, another circle on the inside and go the opposite way. Our foot is always going to the left. So you face one another and you go on around. But let's get the circle way out. Just, just keep, the, keep up over it. Move to the left. Move to the left. Move to the left. There you go. Keep on moving. Bunch of tribes. This is a time when you the drum and you have it. in mind. We come together and we enjoy ourselves in this way to respect each other. Both young and old and become one tribe. Some of you that are coming in would like to cross the circle and go where there's more room. You're welcome to go straight across and dance right beside the Indians. Won't that be fun? There you go. Right over there. Come on across. Come on across.
on the TRCA, this is one of the top 25, and when it comes to hospitality and being treated right, there are none any better than Ellensburg. We salute the men representing 600 volunteers, and we welcome them on the track at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the center of the arena for King County and their mounted posse as they set the stage for our introductions of those directors I was talking about.
outside. And wife, I should say Lyndon Weisman and wife Lisa are on the inside with children, Laura Lynn, Laramie, Paul Marie, Liberty, Lincoln, representing Central Washington University Athletic Department is Jack Bishop, the CWU Athletic Director. Second stage is representing the official soft drink of the Ellensburg Rodeo, Pepsi! Once again, we salute the Longhorn Cattle Company with our third stage today. And we welcome Don and Greg Akers one again. One again in the same, and with them, Sharon Smith, Rhoda. Representing Budweiser and Jensen Distributing is Frank and Ann Reed with the Gold Buckle Club. Tim Main of Selma driving the carriage with his mules, Clementine and Maddie. Rodeo Grandmas are here today. Rodeo Grandmas of Ellensburg. Lorraine Glass is 88. Peggy Miner, Honda 73. Cole Wittenbach is 65. And Jamie Anderson is 64. Washington and grew up in the Yakima Valley. He worked with his father and his brother Ed, raising Herford cattle. Fred broke his own horse and used him to round up cattle from time to time. And he moved to Ellensburg in 1946 with his parents and family. To a cattle ranch on the west side. Where Fred belonged to the Kittitas Roping Club and roped as a contestant in the Ellensburg Rodeo. He was also a member of the PRCA for a number of years. We are honoring Fred today because he, he has worked at the time he been in to the Ellensburg Rodeo and helping produce this show for over 40 years. He and his wife, Anna, have two children and three grandchildren. And due to serious illness, Fred cannot be with us today, but his sister Catherine Wyatt and her husband Marvin are here across the way in box number 11. A great memory of what he has done and what he has given us. A great man that is an inspiration as a, as a father, as a husband, as a grandfather, a friend, a community-minded man. And we hope that that inspiration will direct you in your own lives because he has already touched so many of us. We wish him well. We pray to God that he will give him speed, recovery, health, and happiness. Because truly that is what we all seek in our own lives. And we know with God's timing that will come for those who love the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, join us if we all stand together. I think in unison would be the only appropriate way to present our nation's favorite song, and we do it a horseback here in our arena with the lady who is in our grand entry. Our national anthem will be sung by Miss Chelsea Gilson, a sophomore at Ellensburg High School. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars
say that we stand on God, we trust in Him, and we salute every one of you that do the same. If you're proud of America today, go ahead and sound off with you. Today we are proud to bring into the track at this time a Sunday welcome. Once again to the president of the Ellensburg Rodeo directors, Kim Peterson, run down the track, a little rip, Tater Chip. Miss Rodeo Market is here, Stephanie Crump. Miss Rodeo Washington, Jamie Hinton. And we salute her and her heritage here from Ellensburg. Her grandparents were volunteers for many years. The late George Duncan, her grandfather. And to the King County Princesses, Kitty Brown, Amy Allred, and Jim Tudor with our queen. Sarah Fisher. They're cowgirls, aren't they? Let's go to the buck and shoots, and I'd like to introduce you to some cowboys and bareback riding. It's rodeo time. Now they're the first. First man to go to the man to Jackson, Louisiana. I go on, Jackson. I'm a big, big rodeo company. He won the all-around championship at the Caldwell Idaho Rodeo, another one of the top shows. How about we set the tone, set the pace, and the enthusiasm level, let him hear from you if you like it. combination that'll help him now remember we're taking the top 12 scores back for tomorrow and the finals the top 12 scores will get there and so far that 80 is number four let's go now to jason sherman here's a washington cowboy on chapaka jack from the flying fire rodeo set your feet to the back of the hand of your home no 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 don't reach down with that free hand To this qualification, you have to have one hand in the air. You double grab, it's a no score. But I'm telling you what, there was a handful of bucking horse to hold on to. He did his best. No score for that cowboy from Washington. From Terrebonne, Oregon, we go to Mark Barkley on the War Barnet. War Barnet from Klein Pie Rodeo Company, another Washington-based rodeo company with some of the best. Oh, we have four stock contractors here. And Mark Barkley is on a young horse from Client 5. We'll talk a lot about the breeding programs. They call it Born to Buck. They put the combinations of genetics, pedigrees, studs, and mares all together as they watch for many years. Our stock contractors are now figuring out which combinations are the best to produce the best buckers. And here's another young one, War Bonnet and Mark Barkley picks down. Good, but many times. 
Sometimes the way they look does not determine how it ends up. Because nine out of ten times, the cowboy, after he regains his senses, will stand up, he'll walk out of the arena, he'll ride again later on. A 78 bareback ride. 78 one bareback ride. Ross Coleman looks like he might be all right. Okay, we've been rocking and rolling here. Everybody take a deep breath with Ross. He's tough. I guarantee you he's tough. Little wobbly legged right there. He's okay. He's all right. He'll probably get on his phone a little later. Thank you. Thank you, Ellinger. He's a... <laughs> Look at his smile. Look at his smile, Clint. Ross says, I have no idea where I am right now, but I'm having fun. I know that. This is a great crowd. Look at him. Everybody in the buckaroo section can see him. Ross, talk to me. Are you all right? He said, what are all these little birds flying around? a 78. He got an 80 score. They gave him a couple of extra points for the get off. <laughs> Just uh, kidding. Just two, kidding. Two extra for the entertaining walk back to the shoot. <laughs> Here's Davy Shields from Hannah, Alberta. A man we watched at the National Finals Rodeo Collegiate Champion as well. He is on the candy cane from Client 5. Oh, we're going to have
Circuit Champion to go along with the world title, and he's got the biggest smile in pro rodeo. Even when he's 67 points, that guy has a great attitude. <laughs> Should we get an interview with him and see for sure? <laughs> take my word for it. Just take my word for it. <laughs> Here is Sean Van of Billings, Montana, on Karma from the Calgary Stampede. Carmen is a horse that Marvin Garrett drew the first time the rodeo for me. opportunity to really set his feet. That's what the judges look for. Set your feet, roll them back, show them how well you can spur. I want to tell you that because I think, and yes, I am correct, you might be disappointed in the score, 74 points, and that's the reason. You're not buying any of that, are you? Okay. Nice try. Though. Judges, I tried to defend you. I'm not going to do that anymore. Here's Kenny Vance to Milano. Judges, they say he missed him out. The first jump out, you have to have the heel of your Justin boots at the base of the neck in contact with the animal. You have to be touching the neck with your feet. If they're up, off, or away, it's a no score, and that's what happened there. No money, no score, and no more from the announcer about how great the judges are. I tried to help them, and nobody's going to believe me. I think now would be a great time to introduce him to you. <laughs> no, I'll wait till that wears off a bit. We have another cowboy about ready to go. Here is another world champion from Texas, Chuck Lowe, on the High Line home from Beard Rodeo Company. Another nice one that this cowboy should ride with ease. This is a man that throughout his career has had one of the best riding percentages. Well, he's, he's like 74 points already. <laughs> so whatever he gets on his ride, the rest of the ride, we add on to 74, okay? Okay. So if he's, say, plan? if he's like 70, then he's 144, which <laughs> that's sitting pretty good on one, I'll tell you that. That would make it back to the finals. Yes. You know what's funny? That, I don't mean to make fun of a guy that gets hurt, but that Ross Coleman guy who staggered and smiled out the arena, you know? Yeah. I went for a walk last night and I wandered around and I ended up right behind this grandstand right here. Uh -huh. There was a guy walking just like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that little spurger! Yeah. Not that I look up to people like that. Don't get me wrong. You what? Never. Okay. Never. What do you mean I'll never use my rope? Don't start with me, pal. Yeah, but back. use that rope all weekend. I ain't afraid to whoop an announcer. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be entertaining. Pretty good, huh? Hey, that is that is very impressive. Right. I'm losing it. Right. Oh, there it is. Wait, 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 jump something. through it. You're going to jump through it? He did it. He did it a lot better than I thought he could. <laughs> oh, you're something. Oh, There's a guy in a yellow shirt. Shh. <laughs> Act like you don't see him. <laughs> Bad luck to wear a yellow shirt to a rodeo, pal. <laughs> he said you can't see him. You can see him coming in the dark. Do you uh, guide in airplanes at night with that shirt or no? Here, Chuck Long.
Oh, a beautiful Bakken horse born to Bach here in Ellensburg, Washington, from the Beard Rodeo Ranch, 74.74. .74. Officially, but we have totally rearranged the leaderboard. We have moved several into the top 12 for tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, you will drive the tires of a brand new Dodge truck before you will find one any better than the one we watched today. Did you enjoy it? If you did, let them hear from you again. Finals, if you will. They all, all have their own finals, and the champions 
from each circuit will meet in Pocatello, Idaho at the end of the season. And have a shot at a national championship or a national title through the circuit system. He's number one in the all-around race in this Columbia River circuit. He's won 18,000 just here in the Northwest. And he's a four-time calf roping circuit champion. What can you not believe? Uh, I'll tell you. Here's Brad Goodrich, one of the favorites in the Northwest. Uh-oh, got to get him up. Hey, he made a nice recovery. You want that calf on his feet when you get to him. He picked him up, put him down, wrapped him up in 11 on the nose. I looked up in the dictionary this morning. What did you look up, Matt? I looked up the word freak. Freak? And Hollywood's picture, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Come here. Let's see. Did you shave him this morning? Let's see. You had a little stubble going there, pal. Ask him why. I can't believe I just touched those things. <laughs> Does that have to do with being a pro wrestler now that he is in the ring as well as the arena? Ask him if that helps him in the pro okay. wrestling circuit. You want to know why he shaves his legs? This is why. I don't know if I want to know or not. You notice it's only the girls that forgot to shave theirs this morning that scream. <laughs> Here's Brent. Woo! I want to borrow your razor! Woo! Red A. Brown, another all-around cowboy. So are you going to tell us or not? Pro wrestling. That's it. If it has to do with pro wrestling, we're going to leave it at that, right? <laughs> they don't want to hear that, Hollywood. <laughs> can't we're going to leave it at that. Can't repeat it. How would you like to be a pro wrestler and get beat by a guy who shaves his leg? There you go. Here's Red A. Brown, another one of your top circuit cowboys. Rides good horses all the time. Did you see that gray horse put it in park? Whoop! Just when he went to spin the wraps on, that camp stuck up that back right leg. Messed up everything. 14 2 for Brad A. Brown. From Spokane, Washington. Now the camp has to stay tied for six seconds after he gets off. Uh, I should say after he gets back on his horse, but it is a no time for Brad Brown. No time. Jeff got up. Hollywood and I worked on something last night. You know our main theme last, yesterday. You'll catch on here in a second, right? And one, two, three. <laughs>
want to tell you something about Mike, and I'll probably repeat it tomorrow, because he's coming back. He's number two in the average. He has tied two kids in a total of 20.2 as we take a look at the average on the Bud Light scoreboard right now behind Ricky Kenton. That is an Oklahoma Cowboy that passed up a lot of big rodeos in the Midwest and the Southwest for the last month. He came to the Northwest to get the money and qualify for the NFR because not only is the weather, the weather beautiful and the people are hospitable, the rodeos are very nice and wealthy. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy just loves coming to this part of the country because of all those combinations. And how about we say thank you and congratulations as we get pretty excited about the Oki right there. Okay, we're going to switch now to Seth Hopper. Seth is from Stanfield, Oregon. He's the number three man in the Columbia River circuit in Camp Roping. What are the chances? The chances? Of finding a set of pickup keys in the middle of the arena. <laughs>
Pasco, Washington. The official results of the quarter mile. Thurston, Canby, Ellensburg, and Island County.
what we have talked about the Kaiser family many times this weekend. One of the greatest rodeo families ever out of the Northwest. Here's Jess Kaiser, Centerville, Washington, another one of the top talents, not only as a rancher, but a pro rodeo contestant. Watch what he'll do for you. Come on, we're all pointing for the Kaiser family this year. Not all of you have tried to train a dog, maybe train a horse. 
Prince and you've got them on a leash or a collar and you're using this device and that and you've watched different videos and you've listened to professionals and you still cannot get it right. Can you imagine a man without any of that? But a lot of talent from the good Lord above. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the award-winning Jerry Wayne Olson and his beautiful Palomino horse.
Come here. You ready to get down and give him a nice bow? Huh? Come here. Let's give him a nice bow. Huh? Let's get down and give everybody a nice bow. CD. Clear down both legs. Hey. Both of them. Oh, there you go. horses in the back of a horse trailer where they lead them up and put them in for a semi where they use a load and shoot. Well tonight or today we're going to take you down here to the end of the arena, see if we can't get this horse to jump in the back of this pickup by himself. Are you ready big guy? No? Come here. He says I want to roll real bad. Yeah. Are you ready? Huh? Get in. CD. Good thing. Good boy. Thank you. Okay, let's go. CD, come on. It's one thing to jump a horse in the back of a standing truck. It's another thing to jump in the back of a vehicle while the vehicle's moving. By nature, a horse doesn't like to jump on to or step into anything that's moving away from him. So we reach back here, rub on him a little bit, get out of the way and tell him to get in.
series from Colorado Springs is what I'm talking about. You'll watch this man win the Pike Speaker Bus Pro Rodeo. Brent Frank, a good one, Oklahoma. He's got a good one. Come on. Let him Another great ride. Another tough horse. Made easy. Well, it appeared that way. I'm sure it wasn't. And 72 is his score. 72. I'd like to commend you and your community on so many, so many ways that you have promoted this rodeo for so many years. The respect that you have for the cowboy and Indian traditions, well, it's humbling to see it. And I want to say that the Daily Record newspaper fits right in to that category and re should receive a lot of accolades for everything they do. Here's the man on the front page of the supplement this week, the Rodeo Edition, Bud Lombrake, and he's in. Yeah, he's back here at the saddle. That's what he is. That's the man that was on the front of that Rodeo Edition supplement from the Daily Record this week with the toothpick in his mouth. <laughs> He scores 58 points. He was out of position. He almost was bucked off. The judges knew it, and folks, that's just the way it is. Bud Lombrake on Pocahontas. Bud Lombrake, of course, many times at the National Finals Rodeo. Now, the Shane Lyon of Rapid City, South Dakota, on Major Holly from the Big Ben Rodeo Company. Finals rodeo fucking horse and a good one, Major Holly. Shane Lyon, too, is a former college champion and a member of that Panhandle State Rodeo team just a few years ago. Here's a guy that doesn't travel to all the big rodeos. He doesn't go to 100 rodeos a year. If he did, he'd be at the national finals. One of the most likable guys that we have in our game. Shane Lyon having a little trouble with the Major Holly. That's a stud horse with a bad attitude. He's trying to reach around and <laughs> kind of bite your boot off. In a way. <laughs> what did you say? Stud horse with a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. as we begin with Art Stoltman. All of our contestants are from 